Do not touch any of the tiers without washing this. Seriously, a lot of players in Tears of the Kingdom have spoiled the entire story from accidentally touching a tier. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the proper order to do this quest, and that way you can follow along with the story a lot better. And I will not be showing any cutscenes in this video, so you do not have to worry about me spoiling the story. All right, let's get into it. So we're starting off this quest by first coming over to this shrine over here that's located by New Serene Stable. This is going to be located all the way to the west of Lookout Landing. So pretty much right across here is where we're going to start. And you're going to already notice these geoglyphs throughout your map. Now, in order to initially begin this quest, you're going to have to head over to this little stand over here. You're going to notice Impa. And essentially what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take this balloon and put it up here. Just like this. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab that torch. So I'm just going to go ahead, equip this torch. Before that, talk to Impa. So I'm not really going to say anything extra about it. Uh, pretty much you fix her balloon. She's going to talk about something and you want her to hop on. I'm going to avoid as much dialogue or text as I can so you guys can enjoy it. Anyway, get that stick back out. And then just, you know, walk over the fireplace. Now you're going to head up in the sky and you're going to get a pretty much good look here. Any spot that looks like that, there's always going to be a tier. Huh? Look at how smart they are. The tiers, because this game is called Tears of the Kingdom. And the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and interact with so-called tier. Now I'm not going to be playing this video, so feel free to pause right now if you are at this part of the game and go ahead and watch whatever tier you just got. And I'll be right back. Ah, the tier comes up and then uh, it begins right here. Okay, that's it. So you're going to have a little bit of dialogue with Impa. And afterwards, we're going to be heading to another location. Now, the cool part about touching these tiers on your map is that when you do open up your map, there you go. The symbol shows up. That means you've completed a tier. That is our indication for finishing it. The next thing we're going to be doing is heading over to this location at the Forgotten Temple. The next part of this quest to progress it is going to involve you going all the way to this location. So just follow this road up here and uh, I'll see you when we're at that spot. And we're going to tap this shrine here to make it a little bit faster. So right from the shrine location, we're just going to head straight. And then we're going to approach this little ledge right over here. And as you approach this ledge, just go ahead and jump down. So we arrive here and uh, you're going to notice it's kind of blocked from the top part. So you're going to just have to go ahead and just jump a little bit lower to the bottom floor right here, right where the balloon is. And that's how you know where the next part of the quest progress. Go ahead and talk over to Kato. And that's going to progress the next part. After talking to Kato, it's going to say that Impa is further in this temple. And we're just going to go ahead and go further in. Now, at this room, luckily for us, there is a shrine. So activate that shrine so you can come back here at any time you need to. Always make this a habit to touch shrines wherever you go because they act as fast points. And you have to touch them, not just see them. They have to look blue and orange so you know it's good to go. So anytime you want to come back, you can come back. Anyway, once you're done with that, go ahead and talk to Impa. Once you're done talking to Impa, you're going to continue further and go deeper into this temple. And then we're going to enter this insane room over here. And then you're going to go further, <laughs> even further. I wonder what this does. I always wonder if we could do something here. I don't know. And then you're going to notice this insane map that is pretty much every single thing that we're going to be looking for on the map. And you can see that, hey, we did that one. And those are all the other locations. So we're going to just go ahead and drop down here. And the next cutscene will play. After having dialogue with Thumb, now you're going to be seeing all the symbols over here, and you probably pass by these symbols during your exploration in the game. Now, after this dialogue, we're then now going to go around the map and activate all these various symbols. The best thing you can do is have these Skyview Towers ready to go because that's what we're going to be using as liftoff points in order to do this. If you don't have your Skyview Towers unlocked, I have a complete video showing you how to do that really fast. Anyway, Let's keep going with the quest. All right, continuing this on, we're going to be at the Paquita Stone Grove Skyview Tower. And my favorite part about hunting these is when it's late at night, so we can see some glowing stuff on the ground. Now, we're going to launch off from here, and you're going to notice that one over there. We're not going for that one. We're going to go south. So if you have your sky gliding gear, you see that right over there? We're going to that location right there on the map. Okay, we have landed, and I'm going to continue going straight to where this geoglyph is. It is it is very cold right now. I should be wearing something warm, but I want to stay in my sky gliding gear. Let me know, is it just me, or is it sometimes it just get a little lazy sometimes to change your clothing? I don't know. Happens to me a lot. All right, climb this ridge over here, and you're going to go for this ledge right about here. So this is the first ledge that you'll see. And then as you come over here, you're going to find this tier. Right, there it is. Go ahead. Feel free to interact with it. And this is what's going to happen. Your second cutscene is going to happen. And you're going to go ahead and pause my video 
and watch it for yourself on your game. Fantastic, how'd you enjoy that cutscene? Probably really good. Okay, so you've completed two tiers. Let's move on to the next one. The next location that we're gonna be heading to is the Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. This is the one we're heading to next. Once you get to Elden View Skyview Tower, go ahead and just launch. And we're gonna be up in the sky here and you're gonna see that Nintendo Switch. I mean, it's the Pura pad basically, but you, it looks like a Nintendo Switch and you're just gonna head right towards that Nintendo Switch. Uh, I mean, the Pura pad Geoglyph. This one's gonna be pretty simple to go to and uh, can you spot the tier from here? Can you see the tier? Right there. There it is. By the way, you should definitely grab your sky gliding gear. I have a video for that. It makes it so much easier to travel. All right. And then the tier is going to unveil right there. We're going to click on it. We're going to get the little hand glow. And your third memory slash tier is about to begin. So go ahead, pause, and enjoy this cutscene. Okay, congrats, you completed the third tier. We got a few more to go, so let's keep moving. Okay, the next location we're going to is the Tahashra Skyview Tower. I'm gonna teleport there. This is gonna be located right over here on your map. So from Lookout Landing, just right about there. Now the crazy part about this tower real quick is I, there's always a bloopy here, which is just tempting to shoot, totally miss. All right, let's launch. And we are up in the air and you can see right over there is our next spot we're going to. Skydiving and gliding is just such a nice experience. And I do like the fact that we don't really have to fight enemies to really get to these tiers. I mean, as I'm saying that, there's like a whole enemy talus right there. <laughs> let's make our way in here and it's gonna be pretty much at the crater of these trees yeah it's like right dead center so there you go we have arrived at our next tier go ahead activate it pause this and watch your cutscene how insane was that cutscene that was probably one of my favorite ones uh so far as we're doing this it's just insane the story is just great all right you've completed your fourth one now let's head to the fifth one okay we're gonna be heading towards the gerudo sky view tower all right when you get here it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a little hot sometimes for some people but we're in the shade uh this is the location of the tower if you guys would like to see right over here and from lookout landing it's like right here just go down this way so gerudo canyon sky view tower once you're here get ready to lift off and we are up in the air and you can see right over there is where the tier is pretty much look at that so let's identify where the tier is from here and you can see this is the most shaded in part so that's the spot we're gonna go for okay it would be good if you didn't have enough stamina as me that you should probably use stamina elixirs which is basically like three restless crickets and one bokoblin horn really easy to get in the lookout tower area so you could you could do that uh, if you do run out of stamina and go ahead and then just activate this tier right here uh link's hand that that light up is so cool all right cutscene starting enjoy it pause the video and then we'll move on to the next one all right you finished this tier and now it's time to move on to the next one the next one that we're going to be heading to is the gerudo highland skyview tower so this one's going to be pretty much just left of this one over here the gerudo canyon one so gerudo highland skyview tower it's pretty much underneath the floor so let's go ahead and lift off on this one now once we are in the air we're going to obviously you know do a nice 360 circle kind of pan just like that and then we're going to notice something right in front of us actually right there whoa look at that is that is that a geoglyph let's fly towards it so Make your way to that thing right there on the Red Canyon. Looks phenomenal. I am cold, man. I got two hearts and a quarter. We're not doing too hot here. Will we make it before we KO? I don't know. We're getting there. Come on, skydive gear. We're almost there. There we go. There's a tier right there. Okay, we've identified the tier. You guys are probably faster than me at seeing this tier. Okay, and as we get close, I'm gonna just parachute because I don't wanna I don't wanna climb this thing, you know? This one's gonna be right by a balloon, so that's the landmarker. But of course, you guys are really good at spotting this tier and saw this from the sky. So we're just gonna go ahead and activate this one. Time for the cutscene. That was a very interesting cutscene. Let's move on to the next tier. You guys, you guys are almost there. Let's keep going. So for this one, we're going to be launching from the Rabella Wetland Skyview Tower. We're going to be heading down pretty much to this spot over here. So let's go launch. Very cool. There's some dragons in the sky. Very nice. And you can see exactly our target. It's a giant sword over there. Let's let's go to that sword. That's where we're heading to. And look, we have somehow survived, guys. One in a quarter hearts. We're getting through these cutscenes and I'm going to survive. All right, so just make your way down there and see if you can quickly identify the tier from here. I see something. It's right over over there so we're gonna go for the hilt of the sword that one's huge that looks like a giant here maybe get a little higher ground here instead of walking on the floor it gets a little confusing when you start walking at the sword so stick to the high ground pinpoint that make sure it's marked on your pora pad just so you know to go to there it looks like one thing from above but when you're walking down below you're gonna notice 
how it gets a little bit more confusing. And now you can see the tier right in clear sight, direct path from where we went. We didn't have to even hit the ground to get there. Pretty good, pretty good. And we're gonna go activate this tier. And man, there's a sword here, so something's about to go down on this one. All right, click on that tier. And I hope you all enjoy this cutscene. Oh my gosh, that cutscene was crazy. <laughs> By far the most nuttiest tier uh, I've seen. Um, wow. You now completed your seventh tier. We're going to be heading towards the eighth tier because at this point, I bet you want to know exactly what's going down in this story. All right, next we're heading to the Pakaida, Stonegrave, Skyview Tower, Pakida, Pakaida, Tomato, Tomata. All right, launch from this one. This is going to be pretty much, by the way, all the way at the top left of your map. And which tier are we going for here? Oh, the one right in front of us. Okay, so we're going for this one here. So by the way, if you guys are kind of curious where I am, it is literally to the top left of the map right over here. Oh, Link, you are not looking good with these hearts. I think it's time I actually pop food. <laughs> I do not want to die on my tier video. There we go. We're, we're heading towards it. Now, if you want to identify the tier real quick from here, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Take a look. Where is this tier located? I see something over here. Something by the head. Just kidding. It's not the head. It's right there. On the left side as we're diving down. And it's it's very obvious here. And then we're going to activate this cutscene because now you just, you just got to know what's happening here, right? Yeah, it's getting very intense. It is getting very intense. Let's head over to the ninth one. We got to get to the ninth tier. All right, we're going to be heading towards the Mount Lineru Skyview Tower, and you can see this game is literally trying to kill me because they keep placing me in the cold as we're going to figure out our geoglyphs. Anyway, this is located right over here on your map for clarity, and we're just going to go ahead and launch. Now, like I said, I love nighttime because you can spot things a lot easier during this time. You can see it's right going to be there towards the north. There's the symbol we're heading towards, so it's not too bad. And if you need a little more boost and you're running out of stamina or you're not getting enough distance, you can use the skyview tower right here or the sky the sky island right there looks like they had some stuff there ah interesting there we go it's very bright it's very glowy and we can see that our tier is all the way at that side so continue skydiving or paragliding towards it mark it if you need to with your pull pad if you cannot make enough distance like me but i just wanted to show the best way to do it is with your gliding gear so it's funny i waited so long to do these because i forgot about them this is my second playthrough by the way kind of crazy this one is the ninth geoglyph let's click on it and feel free to go ahead and pause the video as you watch this cutscene. All right, number nine is done. And you can always open up your map and then tab over to Adventure Log, which I'm not gonna do just in case some of you guys are just watching to write this order down, which is gonna show you that you're doing the story in the proper order. All right, let's head over to number 10. The next tower we're heading to is the Hyrule Field Skyview Tower. This is my favorite one because I come to this camp to fight all the enemies. Okay, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for Geoglyph. So launch up out of this tower. And as we're up in the sky, always do your little pan around and be like, oh, did you do the symbol? Yep, we did that symbol. And that's one right over there. Kind of glide over towards this spot. And I can see already the tier is so obvious at the top of the left hand. All right, landing on this one over here. Very nice. And then I'm going to just take my little sky dive right here and there we go right below me should be the great plateau wow look at that oh you should guys also should check this out on your way there if you do happen to stop by there may be a piece of armor there just uh go ahead and stop by that, that little spot i'm not doing that in this video though because <laughs> we're focusing on tears listen we have to not get distracted in this game that's the number one problem i have in tears of the kingdom is always getting distracted all the time okay so we're heading towards this spot here on this rock and like i said it's gonna be on this little left hand here so okay i got confused for a second where the left hand was but it's actually at the bottom right here exactly at these coordinates there you go in case you wanted to head down here all right the next tier is right here let's go activate it with me um hit that pause button get ready to get shocked i guess right we're number 10 all right you finished your 10th geoglyph let's go to the 11th one all right head over to typhlo ruin skyview tower this is going to be the one just north of the great hyrule forest all actually this is all the way to the north I, this was one of my most favorite towers to unlock by the way it was it was quite fun all right launch here and as usual always just pan around the map at all times just so you have a good view of where we're going in this game and it's so funny it's literally right below us okay uh so you probably wouldn't be able to pan around it's literally right below us uh just head towards that there is also a shrine right about there. So if you want to activate a fast port, grab that shrine. The last sword one we went to wasn't that uh wasn't that great. I mean, not really good things happened when I see swords in this game. All right, go ahead, activate this one, and this is going to be an important tier. You, you gotta watch this. This this is gonna blow your mind. Yeah, if you just watch that one, that scene, my 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 heart hurts. All right. Anyway, this is a 
really cool spot of a dragon here. Wow, that's awesome. Anyway, open up your map and it should be on your map for everyone, actually. This is the final spot we're going to. And because I'm a professional Tears of the Kingdom player, I have a shrine right there ready to go. So you all are going to make your own way to that spot. And that's where the final part of our quest is going to be. By the way, if you wanted a pretty fast fly to get to this spot, you just had to come to the Ori Mountain Skyview Tower and just fly over to this spot. Okay, pretty simple. It's right over here, right by Tarrytown. This is the pot, spot you'd go to and fly here. I'm just going to be a little cheap at the end of the video because at this point, you all can see that marking on your map. So just go ahead and approach your final tier of this game. So if you look at your adventure log, you're going to notice that all the adventures aren't complete and that you're missing the first one. Go ahead and click on this video if you do not have the first one unlocked. This is going to be about the Master Sword and getting it early. But if you haven't gotten the Master Sword and watched my videos, then you won't have cutscene one unlocked. So go ahead and click on this video right here.